What's happening, YouTube? Uh, hey, guys, I want to do a follow-up video to a video I did a couple months ago um, called eBay Success, Five Must Do for Top-Rated eBay Sellers. Um, I got a message from uh, a YouTube user by the name of Turktastic. Hope you don't mind me using your name, but you brought up a really good point. Um, Turktastic says, always remember, eBay will side with buyers 99% of the time when a dispute arises. Turktastic, you couldn't be more right. Uh, I've dealt with this in the past, um, not very, not very, uh, not very often. As of late, we've uh, obviously made made some significant changes within our business to prevent these sorts of things. But uh, it, the key is in knowing what to do, how to handle it, um, and how to prevent these things from happening. Um, one way that uh, that that you can that you can prevent a dispute from arising is communication. Communication is key in this. Um, responding to your to your to your buyers in, a, in an appropriate amount of time. And when I mean appropriate amount of time, I mean within an hour. I don't mean wait five hours or tomorrow until you respond to a message. I mean responding to a, a an issue or any question for that matter in a reasonable amount of time. In the amount of time that you would hope somebody would respond to your question. Okay. Now, I always encourage eBay sellers, um, if you want to be a top-rated seller, if you're not a top-rated seller, in order, or in order to keep a top-rated seller status, I encourage a couple things. One of those things, and I think this is the most important thing um, as an eBay seller, uh, I think this is more important than anything. And uh, this will not only allow you to obtain a top-rated seller status, but um, doing this along with some other things, will allow you to maintain that eBay top rated seller status. So, I'm going to give you a scenario. A lot of people don't want to offer, I don't want to say a lot of people. Some people don't want to offer returns on items. Well, here's the thing. What you have to understand is, if you, if you understand how eBay's system works you're crazy not to offer returns on anything, okay? Um, there are exceptions to that rule, but 99% of the time, offer a 14-day, the minimum, a 14-day return policy on any item that you're selling. Let's give you uh, an example. By offering a 14-day return policy on stuff, you're going to help boost your sales. For instance, let's say you have two identical items. Pins. Okay? You got two pins. Both pins are priced the same. Both pins are top rated sellers. Both pins are from a seller that has 100% positive feedback. They both have 2,000 feedbacks. Uh, they both offer free shipping. They're both priced at $1.99. Um, the only difference is Seller B doesn't offer a 14-day return policy on his pen. Now, as a buyer, what are you going to do? Are you going to buy from the guy that has a 14-day return policy, or are you going to buy from the guy who doesn't? Prices are the same. The same type of seller. Both top-rated. Both have 100% positive feedback. Both offer free shipping. Who are you going to buy from? You're going to buy from the guy who offers a 14-day return policy. That's who everybody's going to buy from. Now, let's say, just for argument's sake, that, and this is going to prove my point, let's say, just for argument's sake, that you buy, I buy, from seller B, okay? Instead of buying from seller A, I buy from seller B, the guy that has no returns accepted on his pen, okay? Now, I get the pen. Look at it. Everything looks good. I write with the pen. Ah, well, shit. The buyer said that this was, uh, uh, you know, wrote with a fine tip. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't seem like a fine tip to me. Hell with this. I'm not happy with it. I'm going to open it. I'm going to open a dispute. So I hop onto eBay. Item not as described. I'm opening a dispute. And in my dispute, I want the buyer to pay for return of shipping. And I want a full refund. Disputes open. 
seller responds. Seller says, well, I sold this item as is. No returns, no refunds, no exchanges, no nothing. As is. You can't have your money back. Well, there's a little thing called eBay buyer protection. eBay offers eBay buyer protection to each seller on each item that they list at no additional no additional charge. Okay, so every item that's listed on eBay, every item that you go to list, every item that you go to buy has what they call eBay buyer protection. Okay. Now the buyer in this situation knows that no returns, but they're just not happy. Some people can't be pleased. The buyer says, I'm not accepting a refund. I'm not accepting a return on it. I'm not giving you a refund. No deal. So me, as the buyer, I say, okay, really? So I'm, what I'm going to do at this point as the buyer, I'm going to escalate this dispute. I'm going to escalate this dispute to eBay. And what that means is eBay takes all the information that they have readily available to them. They make a determination now outside of the buyer and seller's hands. They take all the information, all the facts that they have, and they make a determination. Now, this is where Turk Tastic's comment comes into play. eBay will side with buyers 99% of the time when a dispute arises. Now, in this situation, eBay's going to say, buyer wins, issue a return label, provide a refund once the item has been received back, must offer tracking, that way eBay can track what's going on with it. So essentially what's happened is seller B, the guy who decided not to have a return policy on his pen, is now most likely going to end up with a negative over an item is a dollar ninety nine and cost him forty five cents to ship when if he would have just provided for a return policy to begin with, he wouldn't be in this situation because the buyer would have con I would have contacted him and said, "Hey, I'm not happy with the pen. It doesn't write the way you said it wrote." Well, sold it for two dollars, cost me forty five cents to ship the damn thing. So you know, a dollar fifty five is my profit margin at this point, minus my eBay fees, minus my PayPal fees. So at this point, what am I going to do? The best thing. For seller A to do in this situation, the guy that offers the, the guy that offers a return policy is to just give a full refund. Give a full refund and walk walk away from it. Wash your hands of the situation and be done with it. Okay. Now this is obviously an exception. I don't know too many of you that are out there selling pins on eBay, and I don't know too many people are going to be buying these types of pins for two dollars. Needless to say, I was just trying to give you guys. Um, the opportunity to see eBay's system for what it truly is. eBay's system is set up to cater to buyers. And if you know that, and if you can accept that, you can be successful because you'll know not how to manipulate the system, but how to work with the system and have the system work for you. So look, offer returns on stuff because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you offer returns on shit or not. If the buyer's not happy with it, they're going to get their money back. But the problem is, is if they're forced to go through some sort of dispute, all that's going to do is piss them off even more. If they're pissed off even more, what do you think they're going to do? They're rating you when they leave feedback based on their overall experience. Okay, Now they're going to take into consideration all the time, effort, and energy that they had to put into opening the dispute, dealing with messages back and forth, dealing with having to fight to get the $2 back. Guess what? Their overall experience is not going to be good. It's going to be negative. And that's going to reflect on the feedback that you receive. So look, guys, if you have any other questions, have any other concerns, anything you want me to touch base on, feel free to leave a message. Um, send me a video response, however you want to do it. Um, I love doing these videos. Um, I just need a little bit of encouragement in knowing what direction to go with these. Uh, I've been doing this for so long, it's kind of hard for me to think about the simple things and things that may help. Um, uh, people to better understand eBay and its system. So uh, good luck to everybody out there. Um, happy selling, happy buying. Um, 
uh, let me know again if there's anything in particular you want me to touch base on, do a video on, or I can simply respond to a message if need be. Um, God bless. Good luck to everybody. Get out and vote.